value the great state of Idaho parks, as well as the wonderful trails throughout Idaho. We are pledged to continue to support and to provide the best service that we can while counting every single taxpayer penny that we have been blessed and entrusted with. Our mission as a state parks department is to improve the quality of life in Idaho through outdoor recreation and resource stewardship. And this we will do. Thank you. Thank you. They will remain. We have found ways to keep those in place. Uh, those programs that we are doing now will probably be expanding. We hope to bring more people into the parks, more people into these programs, and by doing so, we'll increase those revenues, will help us balance our budget. Uh, Governor, uh, so based what she's offering you, if I understand this new paradigm, is essentially a self-sustaining agency. Is that what your goal is? That That is the, well, to the extent that we can get any agency uh, uh, to a self-sustaining agency, we'd like to do that. Uh, but the, the overall goal <clears throat> is uh, to minimize as much as we can the impact that agencies that agencies that have the opportunity to be more self-sustaining or totally self-sustaining to minimize their impact on the general fund. Yes. Governor Director Merrill, so you're letting 25 employees go, full-time employees. How do you decide which ones are laid off? Governor, um, I'll tell you that it's not been an easy task. Um, the only way that I could do it was not look at faces, not look at names, but to look at the essential functions that our government, that our department had, and we looked to where we could move some of those services to other departments within the state government. We looked to where we might have to be able to eliminate more than one position in those and still remain a viable strong department so that's kind of the, our method of, of going through this is what can we what do, what can we live with what can we work with while reducing what we have yet it, it will be it will be painful and it will be difficult as I said others will have to step up to the plate and and do extra but uh, we will do everything that we can to help minimize those impacts on those 25 employees uh, we've got a strong HR department. They will be helping them do resumes, look for other employment, and be able to help them find those jobs. I will tell you an interesting thing happened just before I came here today. I got an email from one of our employees. This tells you the kind of people that we work with. One of them said, I am a single person, and I work for your department. I would give up my job for someone that has a family. And that's the kind of people that we have working with us. Everyone has put into this plan, and we so appreciate each person. Director Merrill, uh, what, what impact do you think, uh, what will people see when they drive into Eagle Island or any of the parks around the state? What will they notice when they go in after this, this implement? We will have the same parks, and we will be open. Our service levels may drop a bit as we try to uh, balance this and get back up to speed. If anything, we'll be using our volunteers and our, our uh, extra people that we have out here, the seasonal folks, a little more. Uh, our goal is to keep our services high as much as we possibly can and to be able to keep our parks open. In some cases, like Warshack and some of the other parks that we have out here, we're working for partnerships, working with the counties and others in the, in the community as they've stepped up to the plate. And, and we've been very pleased in what we've been able to find out there is support in our communities. Director Mel? I think, uh, let, me, let me also add to that. One of the other efficiencies that Nancy has found is that we, we constantly reinvent the wheel every time we want to make, put a park entrance together or a trailhead uh, building together. And one of the things that Nancy's been looking at is why do we reinvent the wheel every time we need a design for a, why not use the same one at mm -hmm. all the parks? And so as we renew park entrances or as we put in new park entrances, you're probably going to see a, more of a familiar sign at every park entrance, so long as it fits with the environs around. Uh, so that's one of the things that you will probably see. More of the trailhead laboratories and other uh, uh, facilities that are offered at trailheads will, will start looking the same. 